Hello, welcome. Welcome to the Woo-hoo. Affirmation Workshop. We are these are your hosts, Tori the Magi. We have the Mystic here, Brianna the Mystic. Um. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. If you came here to learn about affirmations, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. fail. Can I do this? No, I can't do that. That'd be awesome. Anyway, first slide here. Um, just for a little bit of background, we talk about our story. Um, your head's cut off. Sit back. There you go. Yay! Oh, sit back a little bit. Um, I started my spiritual journey in like 2019 when I was in a really dark place in my life. Basically, around that time, I had got out of high school with the college. I thought I wanted to be a veterinarian. Um and learn to go to school for that all that stuff throughout high school i never really learned that much so like i didn't i didn't i learned a lot but i never knew how to learn didn't study at all i was not good in college i should depress the fuck out of me so i was really depressed in college um i was like dang i need to figure out like what i really believe because i grew up as a jehovah witness and like everything was not really lining up and i was like yo i gotta like figure out since then I started going more and more into what I really believe. And I started like just testing things out to figure out what works for me. And like, for example, affirmations. And I feel like I've been on this journey to growth for a really long time. I have a lot of information to tell and share with and um, other people. So um, that's kind of my journey. And I'm going to keep on compounding on that over time. Um, Brianna, you want to share about yours as well? Yeah, so I'm the mystic. I have been on my witchy journey for about two years now. Um, In that time, I've learned a lot about myself through my spirituality. I was raised Catholic, and it was very daunting to start doing witchy stuff when you've been told that it's evil your in your entire life. Um, I want my main thing is that I want to help others change their lives with the same tools that I use to change my life. And if you take away one thing from this workshop, I want you to know that you are in control of your life and you can control the situations that you are in. Yes, yes, yes. We're always in control here. So let's get on into it. That doesn't work. I mean, go ahead. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'll do this one. I'll do this one, right? Okay. So what are affirmations? Um, I wrote here, you're utilizing the powerful energetic spells that are released through your words. When you're using affirmations, one must take accountability for their current circumstances. Essentially, your affirmation, spoken affirmation is a thought energy. So basically, what I'm saying in this uh, slide here is that the your thought energy is an affirmation. Whether that thought and information manifests into an action your emotion, the spirit realm, God, whatever you reach out to, that's an affirmation. You are all. So the reason I said that uh, you have to take accountability for your your actions or circumstances is because no matter what, you are your circumstances. You have to take responsibility over yourself to have control. So No, I, I think it's more like, le- less like you are your circumstances, more you are responsible for your circumstances not necessarily every single thing that you have done in your life has led up to whatever bad thing is happening but you're responsible for the way you're reacting to them and think about it almost like every single time something bad happens it's a test or a chance to show your positivity in the face of darkness you know Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i guess i'll click it and so how to use affirmations i already kind of touched on this with like positivity in the darkness You can use your affirmations to focus on your intention and pull it towards you. Your words are made up of two different types of energies, one being structure and the other being emotion. When you focus on these two types of energies through affirmations, you can control your life and the world that you are living in by the way you're reacting to the world you're living in, right? You can also make your affirmations more powerful when you combine them with visualizations. I like this. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. That's like you're just putting the energy into that in the air and allowing it to just have a life of its own in a way. Um, what's the next one? 
so yeah, we have some examples here. Um, you have a lot of things that you say I am to. I am is basically talking about yourself here, obviously. Can you wealthy. elaborate on the I am a little bit? So I'll say I am. The reason that we say I am, what it, really what I was saying earlier, I want to go back to the first slide that I was that I did. When I said that I you are your circumstances, I mean like you know, when you are learning how to, let's say you lost feeling in like your leg and you have to relearn that. There are certain things that like maybe you might not be able to fully understand in your leg the way that it moves, but it's all yours. And it might seem like it's just a, a burden, but it's really just you have to learn what it is. So when I say I am, let's say that you want to say that you're, I am wealthy. You recognizing that wealth is you. You may be stuck in the negative side of wealth where you know how to be unhealthy with wealth and that's part of you but you want to be you might want to focus on the more positive side where you're making a lot of money from multiple sources healthily you're spending right and budgeting and everything and that's what that's also part of you so you know darkness and light putting them together that's why you say i am in flow when you're saying i am you're wanting to more and more create an awareness of the full spectrum of what it means to be that thing. I am in flow, I am wealthy, and things work out for me. It's like all the same types of things. You're saying me in that thing. You're talking about yourself. Um, that's kind of some examples right there. I think also with I am, when you say the words, let's say I am healthy or I'm wealthy, um, you're making it out to be that the thing that you want is already within you, which it is. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, I like that. Okay. On to the next one. Nonverbal affirmation. So this is the way we are presenting ourselves in the world around us without using our words. There's so much nonverbal communication, whether it is facial expressions, energy, or whatever. So getting into it, there's mental, physical, and spiritual affirmations. Your thoughts are, for example, are your thoughts positive? Do they reflect what you want? Or do they reflect what you are missing out on, what you don't have? Uh, your body, is your body positive? Or is your posture straight? Is Are you slouching? Are you, how are you walking? Are you walking with the confidence that you want to have? Are you walking with the confidence that you don't have? And then your soul, are you meditating? Have you met your guides? Have you talked with your guides? Do you have any guidance, whether it's God or source or spirit guides? Have you met your higher self? Have you established a higher self? Are you in charge of your emotions? Have you checked in with your chakras? Are you balanced emotionally and spiritually? And remember that every single thing you are doing, every single thing, your, your thoughts, your words, your actions, that's something I take away from Catholicism really heavily. Your thoughts, your words, and actions, they are literally magical spells. So if you have negative thoughts, negative words, negative actions, that's going to show up in your life repetitively until you stop that cycle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So you want to do this one too? Sure. Affirmation do's and don'ts. So first of all, you do speak in the now. Speaking in the now is really important because it's programming your brain to believe that what is going on around you or what you want is already within you, right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't happen after the first time. I think that's a misconception with affirmations. And a lot of people have these like high hopes and this misplaced guidance where they believe that um, if I say an affirmation once, it's going to change my life. And if it doesn't, then it doesn't work for me. But that's not, that's not how it works. This. So next is don't be too specific with your affirmations. When you're too specific, it doesn't allow un the universe to make magic it doesn't allow the universe room to manipulate the life that you're in mm -hmm. do speak in positives don't speak in negatives if you want an, uh, an affirmation going back to that wealth if you want wealth i would never say i don't want to be broke because the universe only hears that i want to be broke <laughs> and so it's going to give you more opportunities to be broke rather than more opportunities for wealth um don't put a timeline on it. I would loosely listen to this um, because like there are different 
there's a difference between affirmations and goals. You can put timelines on your goals, but for your affirmations, when you're speaking to the universe and releasing energy to the universe, I wouldn't put a timeline on it because again, that doesn't give the universe like wiggle, wiggle room. Um, do speak in general terms. This goes back to like that don't be specific. Don't focus on immediate wants. Again, when you want, when you're bringing things to you or you're trying to bring things to you, and it's coming from a place of expedition and anxiety, it's not going to come, you're not going to see the results that you want. But when you're coming from a place of peace and knowing and believing that things are going to come to you in the way that they are supposed to and unfold the way that they are supposed to, mm -hmm. then that those two things, it allows the universe wiggle room like we talked about before, but it also allows for you to push that energy out into the universe rather than like, putting that energy of scarcity out. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're putting confidence in the energy that you have. And then do have an end goal in mind. This is where visualizations come in. For me, visualizations look a little bit different. I like to do specifically fire scrying and then do affirmations while I'm fire scrying when I feel inclined. I don't like to have affirmations written out beforehand, but I do follow these do's and don'ts. Um, for example, I, if I were to fire scry about my future, I would be looking into the fire for maybe five, 10, maybe even 15 or 20 minutes, depending on how long I feel. And I'd be focusing on that fire and seeing the things that I want and the version of myself that I want within that flame. And then as I'm seeing things, it's almost like the fire's talking to me and I'm talking back to it. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, 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 I want to talk about mm. I want to put some stuff on this. So, like, we talked about, like, speaking in the now. Um, speaking in the now. I, so, like, hold up. I used to, like, think about uh, how you have to, when I used to be a Jehovah Witness, I had an entire belief system that I had bits and pieces of. And I didn't have all of everything connected from the beginning for it to make 100% sense in my head, for it to have be effective for me. I feel like speaking in the now and understanding that stuff is going to be, like that's gonna, that's gonna be one of the, the main things that's gonna allow affirmations to work for you. Because if you're speaking for something in the future, you're only gonna be thinking, you're not gonna be able to experience that right now, ever. Like this is like a science. And if you want these things to happen for you, you have to, fully delve into it you have to fully delve into it i have to change the way i think in order for this stuff to come into me because it, some people do it unintentionally unintentionally it depends but speaking in and out is really important for that um da -da -da, timelines this is one this is basically the main thing i want us to do so we have general we have the two things we have you don't want to be too specific but you also want to be general you're general you want to be general because you want to Start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. You're building a body of the manifestation. Now we have the base of it all, which is like, let's say, um, what is your mission in life? Are you working your way up? What do I need for that mission? You're getting more and more specific. Now you don't want to focus too much on just one thing. You want to build a body, like a comprehensive body of, of thought. Like of a focus. solid foundation. I, I think body is a good word, but I feel like a house would be a better word. Mm. You know what I mean? Because when you have a house, you have the complexities. Let's say it's a three-story house that you're trying to build. You have the foundation. You have the first floor, the second floor, and the third floor. Mm. And the third floor would probably be more intricate than the first floor, you know? Mm. Yeah, and like the third floor would basically be like your, uh, what is your specific goal let's say like you want to start a business and your business is aligned with what you the, your base right here is like basically what you stand for you want to help people out in a specific thing you have your business let's say your specific goal is i want to be make six figures every single year by like 2018 something like that 2018 let's say it's 2015 right now we're in 2015 right now i'm just playing but like in a five-year span and it would get more and more like that the thing is we don't like to say ifs, but a lot of times people like to, you know, put a lot of weight on a certain timeline. Then when that timeline doesn't like 100% pan out because you're still learning how to direct your energy and make these things happen, mm -hmm. you could be like, dang, it doesn't work. Yeah. But really it's just 
it did work. That was just yeah. another reality and you didn't fully merge with that reality. Mm -hmm. You can still pull it along, put a timeline out there again. Remember, you still have your base that still exists. It's still, I'm helping people. You're still helping people. You might not have hit that goal, but you're still, you can still make it there. You can still, we can make another goal. So going off in your example of you don't want to put a timeline on it because we wanted a washer and dryer in our first apartment that we lived in together. Mm -hmm. And then we did not get a washer and dryer <laughs> until like, like our friend gave it to us for free, which was awesome. Until like we had lived in a whole different apartment because we had put a timeline on it. We did not allow the universe wiggle room to like make sense out of what we wanted. Mm -hmm. Right. And so <laughs> it was interesting. And now we have a real washer and dryer. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Yeah. Kitten. She she wanted to vibe with us. But um because we had not put a real uh because we had put a timeline on it, we did not allow the universe to do it in its time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's a good example. Yep. All right. How to make your own affirmations. Um I'll go ahead and do this. You read it. All right, guys. We're gonna do a little bit of an ex exercise here into uh Bring your affirmations to light. So get comfortable. So I want you to focus your intention on basically whatever, maybe you have something that you wanted to focus on that's in your life that's causing you issues and you want to find an affirmation or a set of affirmations that is going to help you combat that thing and come to terms with a more light version of that. So focus on that intention. If not, you, maybe you don't have one. Um, someone else will help you out. Some guides, God will help you, whatever will help you out. Um, close your eyes. I would like you to clear your mind, relax, focus on your breath. Matter of fact, we're gonna take three big breaths, one big inhale, big outhale, exhale. One big inhale. Another exhale. Let's get an inhale. Exhale. All right. Good here. From this point, I want you to let your guides, the universe, speak to you. What advice do they have to tell you? What are, what are they going to help you to affirm? to combat that intention, make that intention light. I'm gonna give you like two minutes. Two minutes is up, we will Go ahead and. I was like, already? <laughs> when the two minutes is up, we will go ahead and let you guys uh, open your eyes and jot down what you got. But I got a timer. Okay, that felt quick too. Okay. All right, guys. So, well, this is the say you're watching the recording. Um, you can pause it here if you want to. 
and jot I'm down your affirmations. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> you wanna write you down or you wanna I'm gonna write a few down because some of them were good, some of them were silly. So the first one that I got was I am wealthy. I'm gonna write down my name. And then I'll put these in my VOS, of course. The second one I got was I am the result. And then my guides added to that. I am the result of hard work. Hmm. I like that. I like that. And then I am the result of everything. That has led up to me. That came before me. How about that? I am confident. And I am cool. Mm. Zeus gave me that I am cool. Not nice. Okay. So those are my affirmations. I'm wealthy. I'm the result. I'm the result of my hard work. I'm the result of everything that came before me. I am confident and I am cool. Hmm. I had, I didn't really do it as long because I just, I closed my eyes for like 30 seconds. I was focused on other things, but I did get an affirmation. Um, I handle fame and fortune very well. That hmm. was literally the only one I'd made, but hmm. that's what I got. Did you have an experience? I heard you. I saw you laugh a little bit. It was when when he said, "I am cool." Like I was like, "Zeus, you got anything?" And he said, "You're cool." <laughs> <laughs> so, so I kind of snickered because I was like, "Really?" He was like, "Yeah, that's what I got." And I was like, "You don't have anything more profound?" And he was like, "Nah." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's it. I will say hello. I want to say something about this. So like, you know, when you first start out. Um, you might not hear as much, or you probably do hear a lot, I feel, but you might not be able to pick out what you're hearing. Mm. Maybe you got some doubt in there keeping you from like using your imagination to like find some things or like just tapping into that force or whatever. So that'll help you out. Um, you can do this no matter where you are. And as many times as you want. No, this is, this is a really like simple, I'll say sterile version of what we did right here. Let's not only say sterile, like that might have a negative connotation, but you know, like prepared, prepared version mm. of like, let me sit down. You can probably have some profound experiences when you sit down in your like sanctum at your home and you just like tap in. But I just want you guys to know you can, maybe you're like at work or some shit. You can probably like tap into your mm-hmm. guides. So I'm going to move on to the next part of this. So this is affirmation analysis. When you were being told your affirmations or coming up with your own affirmations, what thoughts came up? Take a second to jot that down. Are the thoughts positive or were they negative? For example, if you thought I am wealthy or you heard I am wealthy, would you did you think, oh, this is tr- so true? Or did you think, well, wealth has never been something that comes to me? And sit with the th- negative thought if anything did come up for a little bit and let it be let it sit and exist in your space once you have found those negative thoughts and it's sometimes it's hard to um accept that those negative thoughts are coming up even if they're very quiet and small and tiny because you want to focus on the good positive experience you don't want to focus on like the thoughts that are deceiving or deceptive or the antagonist of what you are affirming but you need to acknowledge the negative thoughts even if they're very small even if they sound like they're not even coming from your mind because a lot of time they aren't they're from entities but that's a conversation for another time um <laughs> think about that negative thought let it exist and then write down the exact opposite of that thought I don't want you to write down the negative thought I don't want you to p- put that into existence beyond what it already is existing 
I want you to write down the exact opposite. And it might be the affirmations you were told before again. So write those down again if it comes up. Okay, here's our questions and answers portion of the workshop. <laughs> um, I have questions. What do you got? Um, so how would one go from broke to rich mm -hmm. using affirmations? Mm -hmm. So my, so I think we, we differ on this belief a little bit. So my personal belief is that affirmations are almost like, <sighs> imagine like putting a bandaid on a really big gaping wound in my opinion affirmations are like that band-aid it's better than nothing but it's not gonna help heal that wound as much as like a bandage a wrapping around the wound is and so in my opinion affirmations should be done after shadow work once you have done shadow work that's like that healing to the wound and affirmations should be coming after that healing has been like started you know what i mean because that band-aid isn't going to do as much as a bandage you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so the way affirmations help you get wealth is they oh it's almost like feeding your mind after that healing has been done does that make sense mm -hmm. so like after you, you have healed the wounds through shadow work affirmations can then step in and help you manifest the things you want because when you're in a wounded state you can't be bringing things to you as quickly as you want them or at all so it's a good answer um this is something i was thinking i'll answer the question too as well so i last night i had a profound experience I've been studying for the last like week or two for this and I had a realization about like what self is and what that what makes up who we are so we have our we have our light side and our, and our dark side and the way it comes to me is like when you have your you have your dark side that's the parts of you you don't accept as much um if you want to become and I'll, I'll, before I say that you also, you also have your light side which is this part of you that you are conscious of and the part of you that you can create from and pull from that source energy so in both spectrums there is infinite so the parts of you that you don't accept can be is also connected to the, the collective conscious of all that everyone, everyone else they don't accept as well every, every aspect of everyone else like something like brianna might not accept about herself i can pull from the collective unconscious into my shadow if i if i so chose to or if i just did everything right for you integrate both of these because this is also the light side the part of things that people do accept and they express openly i am so i'd be like i am broke and i'm happy like uh, i was like don't even say that <laughs> <laughs> and that could be just out there and I, that's that would be coming from like i'll say like god because they said that they're happy doing that shit they're happy being like that the self would be because I, I, the person who basically shadow work existed no matter what, but the person that we most like associated with is Carl Jung. I was looking at a diagram basically explaining that what, 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 what a shadow work is you have your ego on the top, you have yourself, and then you have your shadow. Yourself is basically what these two forces, the light and darkness, come together to become and your persona is how you express that to the world mm. now an affirmation that would be you i want to say like you identifying with yourself and you're saying all right who do i want to be you're, you're like all right i'm looking at my light side and i'm using the ability to 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 grab the the happiness the goodness and i'm looking at my shadow and i'm like what do i not accept about myself and then i'm like all right 
in order to bring these two things together, the goodness and the accept in the, the the dark side that I don't accept, I want to put them together and I'm gonna say, I thought I was on my phone. Um, I want to put them together and I will say I am that thing. Mm. Thus making the self more and more comprehensive of what I actually like desire, what it, what I want. And the more you do that, maybe there's thoughts of different vibrations. They're going to come together and they're going to attract more of those things. So if you're thinking positivity in regards to wealth, if you're thinking wealth, period, it's going to give you both energies depending. It's actually like you say, I am wealthy. This is, I've been thinking about this shit. If you say, I am wealthy, that is going to give you the, the vibration that you are most able to attract at that moment in time. And what you're, let's say you're broke and you have a broke mindset and you're negative about it, you're going to get a lot of negativity that you have to work through to get to the positivity. And that's what you want to. That's what you want to do. That's what you have to do. And you bet basically, yes, you can become wealthy through your affirmations. Just remember there's multiple levels to this shit, the physical, mental, emotional, mm -hmm. spiritual realm that you have to put in alignment to get to that point. But yes, um, you have a question? Let's see, let's see. How do you use affirmations? Because I already talked about how I use them usually when I'm doing spells or fire scrying or like something more witchy because affirmations have become so, for lack of a better word, mainstream, but I incorporate it into like my magic. How do you use affirmations? Hmm. So personally, when I use affirmations, I use them all the time, all day. I have more and more, I accept that I am a magi. I am a magical being. I have these powers and I'm going to say that, that I am that thing. I have to act like it. I have to be in alignment or I'm going to be like, part of me is going to be like, yo, you fake as hell. Like you have to like, I'm like, all right, I got to put my money where my mouth is. So like literally anything, everything I'm driving down the road. I am a sick driver. I am getting to my location. I'm thinking, I'm like, you were talking about visualization. I am visualizing myself get, getting to whatever goal, whatever location. That's that interesting. I, I didn't even realize I did that when I was driving. I was like, I'm a good driver. I'm a good driver as I was driving. But it was more so like, I, I guess I didn't think about it as an affirmation because it was more so like to quell me, number one. And then number two, because um, my guides were telling me to say it. <laughs> They're like, you're a good driver. And I was like, I'm a good driver. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that support from the spirit realm and that aligned with your mental realm you might not have 100 percent felt it mm -hmm. in the emotional realm but you're working to get there mm -hmm. and the physical realm actually was aligned because you were driving good yeah yeah exactly so much safer than some other people too which mm -hmm. was surprising <laughs> people out here probably <laughs> and you're like wow <laughs> just what <laughs> okay but i'm gonna go ahead how to do this Okay. Uh huh. It's mm -hmm. not over there. What are you trying to mm -hmm. do? I'm trying to make it big. Look. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's on the screen now. Oh! Go ahead. Stop sharing. Stop. It's the red button. There Stop you sharing. go. Yay! Okay. okay. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being here and just taking the time to set some space for yourself yep. with us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you laughed a little bit. <laughs> uh, we will have some upcoming new hickeys coming up. Um, we'll have another breath. We'll have a breath work workshop. And then we'll also have a shadow work workshop coming up. He will be doing the breath work. I think I'm gonna take the lead on the shadow work one. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Mm -hmm. Catch you later. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.